Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, I kept it warm. Okay. Yeah, kept the kept the Thanks ear so. spot warm. Appreciate it. All right. Just Natalie. That fine. There. Yep. Boom. Okay. Cool. Oh my goodness, we're in there. Okay, so tell me what you think about this match. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so these guys have fought each other quite a bit. I think Helix okay. kind of messes up Shockbound from time to time, but I'm pretty sure like Shock beats Helix most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, while Ivysaur does a lot of like keeping out, Sonic is so good at going in that it, it like it rarely matters. Oh my goodness! And then these like mistakes at the ledge. That's really gonna cost him. Um, let's see here. I think I have more stuff to catch up on. I don't. I'm actually fine. And now they're tied again. And now they're tied. Exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Shock, Shock's got the skills with Sonic. Um, he's gonna be spinning a lot. Like some Sonics will want to like back off, maybe get Ivysaur to try and commit to something. But I totally agree with Sonic or Sonic with Shock's. Approach, which is just to keep approaching, just keep coming at him. Like, don't give Ivysaur time to set up a wall with projectiles. Don't give her time to get in the air and like have options like forward air or back air. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So is spinning the main way that Sonic approaches? Yeah. Um, he's got lots of speed, so dashing can work too. But um, is I I call it the mobile shine, just because like it hits you at like really bad angles. It's just a tiny little tap. Mm -hmm. Di's correctly to get out of that. Um, but yeah, and he has multiple options from it too. Ooh, yeah, he's gonna snag that ledge. That was super close. Um, so he has down B and he has side B, and both of them have different properties. Good call, good call. That's usually, Sonic will usually come in with a forward air after that, and uh, Helix is like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm prepared for that forward air, but uh, Shock was actually like super on point, you know, mm -hmm. catches him with that up air. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so he has side B and he has down B. Both of them function differently. Uh, I can't give you the specifics, but he picks them for like different situations depending on what he needs. Like, uh... Oh my goodness, dude. Shock is... Shock is... He's out for blood right now. He was not happy about losing the Gus. Was it Gus? Who did he lose, Dave? Uh, no, he lost power up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. This is this is why <laughs> you're here. Yeah, yeah. No, he lost a, He lost power up. Oh my god, the commentary. <laughs> it's amazing. So, okay. Here, here's a good one. Where do you think... So it looks like Helix is going to fight. Oh my goodness. Is that... That's it. Holy crap. <laughs> I try not to pop off too hard for my boy, but that was super good. That was crazy. Um, where do you think he's going to take him? So he definitely wants space. Um, and Shock immediately bans FOD because that is Sonic's worst stage. I'm thinking Smashville. What do you think? I don't know the stages in PM that well. Okay. Apparently Battlefield. He's going so. to Battlefield. That's fine. <laughs> it's the Washington main. Um, I think... Oh, so that's, that's an interesting trick. Uh, not everyone knows about that one. Um, especially when I started talking to some of the Ivysaur mains in the state, a lot of them didn't know about it. Um, so when Ivysaur starts her up B, she has an initial height, and then she jumps up, and then she swings. And this is only if she hasn't, like, uh, found a ledge. So at, like, frame one or something, I can't remember the frames on it, but uh, okay. it checks if there's a ledge in range, and that if she can snap onto it. And if she can, it totally changes the animation. But if there is none, she does the normal, like, attack up B. Uh, and when that happens, Ivysaur does a little jump, and then she swings, and then she falls. So if you land on a platform or a surface before she comes back to that initial jump height of the up B, she'll actually cancel the entire animation and be able to like move way, way faster than usual. Because when she like does the up B and then lands all the way, she like flops around a whole bunch <laughs> of times for no reason. Yeah. Um, so using that up B cancel on platform stages is really good. And you can do it really well on this stage too. Um, because if you go to either of these uh, secondary platforms, ooh, barely getting in there in time. Uh, if you go to either of those two platforms right there, you can use up B and cover the top center platform oh. with the up B cancel. So it's gotcha. and it's pretty scary, but it's pretty situational as well. I think he's going for this stage just because like it gives him gives him a few more outs, um, and then Ivysaur has a much easier time covering this stage. I want to say. Oh, okay. Oh, that's still going to get him, though. Dude, Shock is just running straight over him. So this is like, Owen doesn't get to see this. Where is he? Where is that punk? There he is. <laughs> so, Owen, you didn't get to see this, but this is like this is how you beat Ivysaur in the opposite, where Puff is waiting a whole bunch and like really has to time her aggression and really has to time her spacing. Sonic doesn't mean to, man. Sonic's just going in. Yeah. 
Did he did he down B or side B? I have to change my reaction. I don't know. It's like the same animation. Yeah. Yeah. Face rolling it. Yeah. That always works out. Am I right? It's the best way to play the game. Mm -hmm. Just press all of the buttons and don't know what you're doing. To be fair, that's how I played Soul Calibur as Valdo, <laughs> and like it worked out from time to time. So I'm not gonna fight it. <laughs> Okay, so that's the difference between the two, which is really weird. Um, so, like, the side B, I'm pretty sure this is how it is. The side B has that, like, what, like, saw, like, animation that goes around them. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the down B. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. They're both spin moves. It's I don't a move care. that does a thing and, yeah. like, sometimes hits. I think you can jump out of it. <laughs> I don't know. Things, yeah. words, stuff, you yeah. know. We are, yeah, things. We are uh, PM experts. Yep. You can trust us for um, all your information. I totally play this game. Totally. Yep. Take him off the talk. Dude, <laughs> shock, are you going to do it? Are you going to, like, don't even don't even get too stocked. I want to see this. <laughs> gets in. He gets in with the down air. That is such a great combo tool for, uh, for Sonics at, like, medium level. I'm not sure if a lot of them do it. Um... No, like a lot of them, a lot of them will do it. Soggy was doing it. Like we don't, we don't, we don't see that many Sonics in this state. But uh, um, it's just like throwing someone and then immediately getting them with the spike hitbox of the down air, which is like really yeah. early on in the animation. So you got to time it quite well. Yeah. Ooh, that back throw is gonna do it. Yeah. Mm. Oh shock! I wanted you to <laughs> three stock him. That's okay. Oh wow. Yeah. I can really hear my S's. <laughs> <laughs> It's very Almost odd. That's like, it. yeah. I can hear my voice, and it's, I don't, I and don't know. And it's nice, and it's fine, yeah. and you're... I don't know if I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like my voice. <laughs> well, I like your voice. Is that enough? Oh my God. Sure. Okay. Thanks. There. Appreciate there. it. <laughs> I'm glad you feel better. <laughs> Helix is starting to pull this one back, and he's got yeah. Solar Beam on deck, so um, if <laughs> if he'd gotten that grab, that would have actually been stocked. Like, I, I fully believe it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's also a thing with Ivysaur. It depends on your weight, but uh, most of the time, you want to di like in on her down throw because that'll like pop you up so that her options are fairly limited oh, unless okay. you're like a fast faller. Yeah. But um, actually, no, you want to go out. Sorry, in most situations, you want to go out because then she has to like immediately chase you forward. Okay. Um, but if she has solar beam on deck, if you di down, it's like straight into the solar beam trajectory. Mm. For most characters oh my oh. goodness helix pulling that one out of his ass <laughs> my god says you're looking to sponsor a melee player. oh my god oh, where I is tomo no. so that i can correct him <laughs> yeah that was super good i yeah. really wish i'd clipped that um it's a little bit slow that on that that's fine oh yeah we're totally not ready for you guys uh Hopefully you can take a stock from my Bowser a little bit later. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, come see me, man. I play Fox. He has no idea how hard I body Fox. All right. So why does Shockbound choose Pokemon? Pokemon. It gives him more space to run away. Uh, there's not a top platform for him to mess around with. Uh, I think honestly, it's just like more uh, basic space right there, so okay. that Ivysaur can't like lock him into stuff quite as easily. Okay. So, Shock wants to be very aggressive, but also wants space so that he doesn't get cornered and stuff. Mm -hmm. He okay. wants to stay mobile at all times, and okay. in order to stay mobile at all times, you can ask any Falcon main. It's like, no, it, it'll seem like I do want to give them less space to move around, but having yeah. more space for me is really important. Yeah. Shock keeps like sliding down in the chair. I don't understand how he does this. <laughs> I gotta go like adjust cameras again. Um, <laughs> But that's like a thing, most characters can like really appreciate that. I know as Bowser, um, a lot of players say like, oh dude, you, you must love small stages. And I'm like, I hate small stages. Mm. Um, just cause like, my body takes up most of it. So yeah. when I start getting punished, I get punished for the whole stage. There's no out. Yeah. Um, but on stages that are like bigger, if I know I'm gonna be punished harder, like most of the time I, I want more space so that I can move around and I feel a lot better moving around. Gotcha. Um, so like game and watches usually ooh that was pretty solid that was pretty solid unfortunately it was on reaction to blah 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 not gonna clip <laughs> it deal with it Kyle I love you um, but yeah it's it's complicated and then there are like uh, the players who pick the stages differently so like mm -hmm. um, shock is is like straightforward in the sense that he'll go for like information um, I haven't heard 
him really talk about his favorite stage, he'll talk about what the most optimal stage is, oh, okay. or like what the best stage is for Sonic. But he doesn't really talk about like, oh, I, I play it this way, and I, I'll do it for that. Uh, is that Mr. Bluetooth in the chat? Is that my boy? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, like in particular, I love Battlefield for Bowser, and people okay. are like, yeah, it's a pretty good one for for Bowser. I'm like, no, nah, once I got like tech movement on that stage, that just mm -hmm. looks crazy and amazing <laughs> and i've worked on it so much that i'm just like battlefield battlefield's the way i want to go gotcha. um, yeah dude helix helix made the adjustments here i was talking about like shock will win but yeah helix started keeping them out i think like the biggest problem is that shock keeps running in and then like not really doing anything mm -hmm. and he's not crossing them up as much yeah. um and because of that helix has like enough time to do his out of shield options or do something nice and quick yeah they're oh he missed the second one, but that's what I was talking about where you just like, as they're reeling in, you just drop an aerial in the way yeah. and it'll catch him. <laughs> Love being able to hear the other people <laughs> in the venue. Not paying any attention to what's going on. Yeah. Center stage, that's fine. Nice quick jabs getting in there. It's not gonna, no, it's not gonna take him out. Ivy Soul also has like, tools. Um, for being really high up like Sonic in most cases uh, will like just shark around at that point and be like mm, I'm just gonna get you with another up air when's it gonna happen well, Ivysaur is down air which pops her up a little bit and then slows like gives her a little bit of a jump it's up air which like catapults her straight down and she actually has a hitbox on her body as she's dropping oh. and then she also has seed bomb which you can plant while you're really high up there and it'll just like drop down and you won't know it's coming oh, okay. um, so like shock shock needs to be like really careful about certain approaches but for the most part, like, he needs to get back to his, like, super quick rushdown. Yeah. I feel like Helix is also doing a lot of preemptive throwing out stuff. Like, yeah. it's less about, oh, I, I got you at this range, so I'm going to do it. It's just like, he's coming in, I'm going to throw it. Just please. <laughs> please hit. Please. <laughs> do something. Ooh, uh. yeah. It seems like he's hitting him more, and I don't know if that's because Shock is just Ooh. hitting him less. Ooh. Helix 2-1. This is loser final, so it is best of five. I had to think about that one for a second. Oh my goodness. Do I have enough time? I don't have enough time. I was going to adjust the camera. That's fine. <laughs> you all get to see Shockbound. Super, super lump down there. All right, so they're taking it back here. Shock, Shock uh, still thinks this is like his best stage against Ivysaur. You know, I like I can't really argue with him. He is like the Sonic God, so. <laughs> He's just spinning around now. Yeah. See, that's a like a that's a lot yeah. of percent that he just piles up with having yeah. that. And the less Helix can down tilt him, the better, because that that just like puts everything at a halt and then puts Sonic in a really bad position. Mm. What does down tilt do for Ivysaur? Yeah. Um, it puts out two vines and does like two quick slaps. If they're closer to her, they'll knock him away. But if they're further away at like the end of the whips, it'll pop them up. Okay. Um, and then that becomes DI dependent. Ooh, yeah, backers can do it. Shot can't make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's really hard to come through, especially if you're like trying to come at her grounded. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's fairly safe. Like it's pretty quick. Okay. Unfortunately, Marth down tilt still outreaches that for some godforsaken reason. <laughs> it's so big, I don't understand it. Marth is just terrible. Yeah. That was a down tilt right there, and that kept him in, in place, okay. too. So it's like it's super good for reading uh, tech chases and that kind of thing, because if you get them, like, preemptively, it knocks him away for another tech chase. And then if you get them at the sweet spot, it pops him up. Or if they're trying to crouch cancel it, it puts them right back down on the ground into another tech chase. So okay. it's like it, it can do a lot. His edge guards on Sonic have also been really, really on point. Yeah. Like. It, he's Sonic is not an easy character to edge guard in a lot of situations just because he's so fast and he actually has tons of options. Um, oh, here we go! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, he's got to play that one smart. Uh, he does not, unfortunately. That's okay. Um, but yeah, Ivysaur can cover so many options just with all of her hitboxes. That uh, he's doing a really good job of keeping Sonic dead when Sonic needs to stay dead. Yeah. And you're like Captain Falcon in the background. It's <laughs> wonderful. It's wonderful. How are you guys in chat doing? Glad to see so much random crazy love out of nowhere. This was uh, 
Not properly planned. Speaking of not properly planned. Poor Helix. Reels back in the seat. Helix not too happy about losing his stock right there at 0%. Sorry, I, like, I'll, I'll do that voice for, like, things I hate in commentary. Yeah. Like... Oh man, he's not happy about losing. Let me let me just state the obvious real fast. Yeah, so, or like, know, you can he's got a lead. Let's see if he hangs on to it. And it's like, anyone watching would just be like, dude, like, what else am I going to do? Like, <laughs> no, I was, I was just listening to it, so I better check in now. Like, <gasps> super frustrating. Yeah. yeah. I love hearing statements of, let's see what's going to happen next. Oh, this this happen now let's see what's gonna happen next time. yeah oh my god please stop <laughs> or just like repeating what just happened yeah. like that's that's not great of course with like smash bros uh, like i watched uh i streamed some anime fighters out over at with western okay he's got a one stock dude and he's got the solar beam on charge so now all he needs to do is get shock up to a certain percentage like he doesn't need to care that much just get in trades yeah. uh, and you can already see him going for it like that was a really sloppy back air and he was just like please yeah. i want the oh no way the super clutch spring holy crap um but yeah like watching the anime fighters like there's there's way more time it's best of five yeah yeah yes. yeah okay i didn't know that they didn't know the score that's fine um yeah just narration like i'm not a i'm not a fan of that um but like i don't know with anime fighters it seemed like it was more straightforward because you get someone in the corner and then they'd start talking about it, like oh here's how he's going to deal with it in the corner the moment someone gets on ledge or gets knocked off stage you can be like okay now he's on ledge and okay he's back on stage so now let's get back into it you yeah. usually just have like enough time to say like oh he should be dead never mind yep Yeah, it's tough. I had to like try and explain commentary to uh, some of my family members, and I was like, "It's like narrate, or it's like <laughs> commentating for basketball, except you have no time to talk about anything." So, <laughs> yeah, so you can't talk about that. It's more like talking about certain situations that are going on here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Sonic, he's put in such a bad spot when uh, Helix goes for the down throw. Mm -hmm. um, is is like that's that's Ivysaur's down throw in general, but. Um, mm -hmm. Like, his, her, her combo potential out of that is just insane. Most of the time, it's just going to be a sweet spot fair um, because that'll just pop them straight back up while Ivysaur is in the air, which is really dangerous. He's going for a lot of, yeah, just like fair from ledge. And I think Shock is getting a little bit more savvy to it, which is important. Um, oh, he wasn't paying attention to how many times he had used the, the mm -hmm. tether on that. And if you use tether too many times, then even if it would snap to ledge, you just fall. You just go, oh, into, okay. you, you go into free fall, so... It does give her a little tiny bit of a jump, though, so she's not completely out of it. So does Tether reset when you are on ledge or when you're on stage? Touch and stage. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, I would say Shock is doing a little bit better. Either he is having better opportunities with his ledge guards. Oh, my goodness. He's just <laughs> he's just ripping through them now. <laughs> um, we did see Helix come back from, like, a game that was about this close, yeah. though. So, um but yeah, he's doing better on his ledge guards, which are really important, especially against Ivysaur because she's so light that like um, letting her back on the stage like just it gives you more, so much more work to deal with than like say a heavy character with bad recovery because it's just like oh man, you have poor recovery. I don't really need to care that much. But because of Ivysaur's like tether and all that good stuff, it's usually better to just like let her get to stage and then punish her from that or get out there and gimp her. Gotcha. Okay, wall jump. Yeah. And then, yeah, he Helix hasn't... Oh, yeah, he snaps it super quick, yeah. Uh, Helix hasn't adjusted to that either. That's uh, another thing. Oh, that's it, that's it. Yeah, that's it, that's what I'm talking about. He took both of his tethers and he just yeah. runs up. He's like, mm, I got you, I got you, boy. <laughs> and it's done. All right, that was, that was actually really dope. Yeah. Dope game. All right, let me get all this stuff updated. Entertain the people, please. Oh, um, I'm not very entertaining. You're killing it, keep um, going. Yep. Words, things, stuff. My God, you know? legends are being born today. <laughs> keep, keep going. Man, that is by far the best I've played shock outside of. Was it? Counterpicking to the wrong. You were you were doing good. There were some things that you could definitely work on, but like mm -hmm. um, the the combo game was good. You were like clutching out a lot of good edge guards. I was that being were. Very safe oh, you're right. Like you're